Sup. This is Worms Armageddon, and it's lagging. It was lagging for me. Apologies if it was lagging for you, but it seems to be okay. Uh, yeah, so this is Worms Ar Armageddon. We are doing... It's... I want to say ranked, but it's not multiplayer, single player. But like, you, you start off as an absolute beginner, and then you work your way up. I haven't shown... Like, this isn't the first ever kind of battle at absolute beginner level, because it... It, when it says absolute beginner, it means absolute beginner. It means if you can't beat this level, then I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a higher rank than that. The thing is, though, at time of recording, I've played the game about six hours. I've got to average, which I'm guessing is average. I'm guessing it's the middle. And you may think I passed two or three levels to get to average. I think I did about six levels or eight levels to get to average. They continually found ways to describe someone who was either below average or an absolute beginner, basically. So, yeah. Anyway, we got off to a good start by um, blowing ourselves up and making ourselves fall into, into the water. Just looked at the video time, it goes on for almost 15 minutes, so I'm interested to see how this actually works. No, oh, one of our guys got lit on fire. I want to point your attention to one of the worms. If I can see, because I can't see very well. Right, I'm going to move my mic real quick just to get myself closer to the screen. Oh hey, we used our... Uh, we used our jetpack there. And as you can see... The worm we hit managed to clear the side of the cliff, so that's another frag for us. And this time we managed to avoid killing ourselves. Watch this. Oh, that was terrible. That was bad. Yes, oh yeah, so bottom right. Bottom right there's a worm called Vinnie Jones. Basically, basically that's the name of a a footballer who was a bit of a thug back in the late 80s to the 90s, basically. So if you go on YouTube and type in Vinnie Jones tackles, fights, etc., you'll get a load of videos of some guy doing tackles that are... I, I, I'm surprised they didn't land him a prison... Like, okay, no. The reason they didn't land him a prison sentence in the 80s and 90s is because you got, you got away with a lot more in football back then. Nowadays, if he did these tackles, he would really get a prison sentence, probably. Um, but yeah, he was a bit of a thug. But we... I've I've just told you a story about a worm, uh, the name of a worm, what that name means. And he's not even on screen, because all the worms are over this side. It's a bit of a pain. You, uh, well, you'll notice him in other... other games, but yeah, he's, uh, he's actually an actor now. So if you're into watching TV shows and... Her films, he might have been an actor in one of them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how big an actor he is. I feel like he's bigger than, like, small type, but obviously he's not, you know, elite level, I guess. But yeah, he's the one, bottom right, as you can see, right below the guy that I'm controlling at the moment, Vinnie Jones. Played for Wimbledon back in the day. Don't know what I'm trying to do with this guy. He's too scared to go and attack Vinnie Jones. The funny thing is, Vinnie Jones is on the team called Nasty Crew, I think. Which subs up pretty well. Although, of course, so his main period was obviously late 80s, early 90s. You get people that will say, oh, it was the early 80s that were best for thugs, and you had the likes of Graham Soonis and that, throwing in really dark tackles. But then you'll get an older generation that will say, well, actually, it was the 70s. The tackles in the 70s were even worse. To be honest, I watched a game, it was in the 60s, and there was actually a lot of sportsmanship, like it was 60s, Scotland v England, one of the, you know, oldest international rivalries, um, probably at the time one of the fiercest international rivalries, and uh, they were, you know, there was a lot of fair play, they were passing the ball to each other, like, not obviously in the game, because that is counterproductive, but like, if the ball went out for a throw-in, one of the players would pick it up and throw it to their opposition player so they could take the throw. You wouldn't get that nowadays. Uh, I'm not saying you sh they should do that, I'm just saying 
it was clearly good conduct or expect, expected conduct back in the 60s. It seems to have gone from that to just outright anarchy in the 70s and 80s where there was just loads of fouling and dirty pitches and it was a right mess. Lots of people harking back to those days. I can see why, but honestly, I, I think football today is just better in terms of players aren't going to get is le players are less likely to have career threat injuries. Same in any game, you want it to be fair, but you want it to be competitive but fair. There's obviously a line that gets crossed. Anyway, I've, I've all of a sudden I've started speaking about uh, competition. Let me move my mic back so I'm not hunched over my desk. Now we can continue with this. Uh, this video. I've not really been paying attention to what I'm actually doing. I've just, I've really just used it as a, as a talking, you know, as a background to me talking. But I don't all like, whenever I live comm videos, sometimes, yes, I've got an agenda, but sometimes I don't. On this occasion, I'm just, you know, showcasing a, a Worms Armageddon game. This is a good position to be in, because you can use a grenade, like, because you're unlikely to miss. Look at that. It's an easy throw. And I don't think we killed them, but I'm sure we, yep, we injured them. Right, it's Vinnie Jones' turn. What's he going to do? Is he going to two-foot us? No, he's going to waste the air strike weapon. Not very intelligent, but hey, what can I say? I, uh, I blew my own guy up in the first or second shot. What am I going to do here? That wasn't too bad. If that thing hadn't been in the way, it would have been a direct hit, so I had the right idea. The thing is, because we're so spread out this map, you've got to be somewhat imaginative. Wow, the wind speed just changed there. So that guy probably wanted to attack the two below him. He might still. Oh, he missed. He was close, but he missed. I've got the wind speed for me here. Does he do anything? That wasn't that wasn't too bad, you know. I'll give myself a pat on the back for that one, uh, because uh, even though I only did 14, could have been a complete waste, but made some use out of that turn. Since you only get a limited number of uh, attempts at changing worm, you can't just do it all the t you can't rely on it all the time. You do have to make an effort sometimes with the worm you've got, even if they're not in the best position. And you've got to save the switch worm only for times when uh, it matters. And here we are going to attack Vinny Jones, what? which is maybe not the best idea. Um, and by Vinny Jones, I don't mean like IRL Vinny Jones. If anyone's listening, I mean um, the Vinny Jones in game. Jinx, that's going to be awkward if there's a court case <laughs> if he gets attacked and I'm a suspect. Yes. Oh no. Oh dear, that's bad news bears. And all of a sudden, Vinnie Jones is joined by whoever that is. I can't read the name. But whoever it is, he's joined by. Him. I hope you just don't mind actually. I'm going to pour myself a drink because I'm getting a dry throat and I've got to talk for another. Another. Wait, hang on a minute. I've just realised this game's 25 minutes long, not 15. I cannot count. In that case, I'm definitely pouring myself. Another drink. What's going on then? Oh, this is me. Okay, so I'm going to go and try to get these two dudes. Is that a sniper? Fire. Oh no. I think that was best case scenario actually was it yeah we got them both so it worked it worked a little uh, a little too well I don't know what that means a little too well I mean it, it worked either it worked or it didn't work this person's not in a very good place there's four enemy worms left keep in mind this is for a rank the ranks probably something like mediocre so you know not great motivation but we're still you know Leveling up, getting onto the harder battles. This is a tough position because, as you can see, 
the one's against me. Instead, I decide to TP out of there, which hopefully pays off. You never know. I, I try to TP to a place that doesn't put me in, in imminent danger. And that guy missed. Fair enough. Right, we're going to try and nail these guys. Okay, that's... Uh, oh, that's, that worked well. We nailed him, killed him. His gravestone's going to blow up the route to Vinnie Jones, and that's going to mean we can then go and snipe Vinnie Jones. Do we get to hit him? Yes, we do. There we go. That worked out very well. All right. I've got my water, and I'm ready to go for the next... Half of the video, I think. I think we're just under halfway. Which makes you wonder, if we're under halfway, there's only, what, two worms left of the enemy team? How bad am I that I don't actually kill them until later? I have a habit of throwing, uh, worms games. Unfortunately, it's all too true. Right, what are we doing? Trying to figure out what to do. That's what we're doing. Select your move. Pronto. I just cannot decide. And the problem is, the timer stuck on 45. I would make it less to hurry these sorts of things up, but as I said, I can't even change the options. Every time I try to change the op uh, options, it doesn't work. There's a video finish rendering. The Great Frontier UHC Season 10, that'll yes, tell you what time this is being uh, recorded. Or not what time, but what time period in history is being recorded. What are we doing here then? It's my guy, right? Probably, because I'm missing all my jumps. The AI wouldn't do that. Watch this. Come on. Alright, I see, we're digging through the mountain. Slow and steady wins the race, they say. We shall see. Watch this. Right, there's another video rendering. Missed. Phew. Yes, sir. What are we doing here? See, what do you do in this position? I don't think I've got any more TPs. Or teleportation. Well, you, you know what I mean. I can't teleport anywhere. I can't shoot anywhere. Oh, I decided to skip my go. Oh, coward! There's nothing I can do. The wind speed was against. The, the, yeah, the wind was against me. We know what that guy's intention is. He's clearly going for both my guys back there. Nice music, though. What do we have? That was a good shot. Did it accomplish our aim? I'll get you. Nope. But, well, it, it sort of, it did accomplish our aim, but not our overall aim. Stupid. Wow. Yes, sir. Now I can see why this game took 25 minutes. There's so many worms, and they're all far away from where we're supposed to be. We've got one sheep. Are we going to actually get to shoot? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that did that did a lot of damage. If I if I'd been more accurate and I'd managed to hit one of them. Oh, this this game would have been a lot shorter. Revenge. Bye bye. No, oh, they killed one of my guys. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, sir. My mind was wandering, which tends to happen sometimes when you're post calming stuff. I've got two other two other Armageddon videos to do. Oh dear. Didn't take any damage. Right, we're gonna select the sniper. No, nope, we're gonna select the parachute. How are we gonna do this then? What's your master plan? Make it quick, because we've only got 14 seconds. He's <laughs> he's going all in. No, oh, okay. Well, you just have to take the shot from there because we're running out of time. Wow, it worked. 
a little too well. It hit me as well. Alright, we've got one worm left to go. One worm left to go. Left. Okay, no, we're not. We're not making a song out of that song. There's a lot of very rude songs made out of that tune. Oh, excuse me. It's also late at night. I say late at night. It's 20 past 11. 20 past 11. What are we doing? <laughs> We're actually trying to shoot. How far can you get a... <laughs> it went so far it even hit the edge of the screen and just dropped. It didn't follow its intended trajectory. It just dropped. All physics went out the windows. It hit the edge of the screen. And it looks like my guy's just died. Oh, I don't think he is going to regret it, because uh, you're deed and he's no. Yeah, see, this is the problem. Four of my worms are in terrible positions to fight this guy. Like, the, okay, we, see, even that. Yeah, okay, I, I mis, misjudged the amount of power I needed in order to get it over there, but you know what I mean, it's... It's just utterly bizarre. So, one of my worms is in a good position. He's on the right side of the hill. But he's so far away that there's no guarantee he's going to be accurate. This guy's progressing by digging through. Problem is... Well, he's going to wait until the other three worms have their turn. The three that are well and truly out of it. And my guy over there is in trouble. Because he's the one that's going to get targeted. I mean, you could start by maybe, I don't know. Wait, is he... Wait, there's, I've still got teleportation? I bet he dies. Watch this. He teleports there and then he dies. Look, <laughs> the wind speed changed instantly. He's... Look. Oh, what? He didn't go for him? He should have. I don't know why I shook the screen around there. Yeah, so you control the screen with your mouse, basically. I could scroll. Well, you can't scroll in and out in this game, I don't think. But you could on reloaded. Worms reloaded. I only have four worms games, I think, on Steam. And um, I think the only reason I got them was because, as I said, they were on they were on offer, and it was like a bundle. But I don't want to buy all of them because you know some some games on Steam can be bad. Some games are good. I mean, it's the same with anything. Um, so I looked at the reviews and these were the ones that were said to be the best. So, you know, do I regret buying them? Sort of, but I'm I'm glad I'm playing them now. They're pretty fun. Would I play them more had I played them back in the day? Maybe. I'm not sure. That, that was so close. Skim the top of his head. What are we looking at here? Come on, you might be able to do something. <laughs> he's he's starting, starting to tunnel. Nice. Smooth. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if we don't win this game, it's a calamity. An absolute calamity. I was going to say he's getting closer, but he's not really, because the last shot was really close. There's a medical uh, crate there, which we won't be getting. Oh, look at this. We might actually break through here. Nope, but we did uh, damage the other worm. We'll break through in the next turn. There's another medical crate that's... I mean, we could use a girder to get to it, but probably not. Ha! Huh. Alright, I think it's the guy that's at the top of the map. His turn. Yes, sir. Here we go. Oh no, there's he's stuck. No, he's not stuck. I think I mess up here. Do I mess up here? I think I die. No, I don't die, but like... It's his turn now. He's the opportunity to like put down a stick of dynamite. A mine. Yeah, he's put down a mine. I didn't land in the worst place ever. 
But now it's this guy's turn. He's got to, like, now shoot over the, the guy that's perched on the edge. Well, that was a waste. Jinx, I can't believe this game took this long. Was that me? Oh, no, that was him. <laughs> Am I going to try it? <laughs> I was trying to use the wind speed. I could have done it if I lowered what? it a wee bit. Although I don't think it would have had enough height. So it was a tricky, tricky one. This. this is so annoying. Oof. Every time my guy's getting a really, really good position to kill this guy, <laughs> it's always his turn and not their turn. And he always kills them. Wow, this is mighty frustrating. Well, it's mighty frustrating to watch. I can only imagine what it was like to play. Oh, I've just remembered how this ends, actually. It's, um, shall we say, anticlimactic. So if you want to, like, save, like, three minutes of your life just in the video now. it's <laughs> Or if you want to watch an anticlimactic ending, you can, like, scroll ahead, uh, you know, speed ahead. Fast forward. Skip ahead. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Yes, sir. He's just taking two of my five worms out. Fire. This I, I have to get nail this shot. I don't. Surprise, surprise. Missed. So he's now going to get two more turns before it's that worm's turn again. Or three, maybe. One, two. Yeah, he's going to get three turns. What a nice shot. He's getting very yes. ambitious. Very, very, very ambitious. The wind, fa the wind speed is in our favour. Go for it. Don't use a girder. What's, what's he? What's he trying to do? Go for the shot. <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, that's right. Not none of this faffing around with a girder note. What's he done? He just jumped. He just... I don't know what he did there. Oh, and we're back with the girder. Yeah, of course you can't place it there. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I ever figured out how to place girders. I think there was a specific hotkey that I didn't know. And yeah, I just wasted 45 seconds trying to place a girder. Well... Well done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. He was close. He was very, very close that time. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Oh, of course, you get infinite shotgun, like, attempts with, in, in this version, so... That's why I'm using the shotgun to... Tunnel my way through to him. It's like a secret... Well, it's not really a secret mission, because he can... He clearly knows what's going on. Is this it? I think, it's the I think it's his next turn. Yes, Watch out for his next turn. Alright, come on. Fire. The wind's against us, but go for it. Yeah, I think that would have... If the wind had been different, that would have been a much better shot. Alright, I think it's this turn. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Wait, did he... No, he's, he's at a two. Yes, sir. So he's just going to blow himself up. He's now at two. Hey, we made it. <laughs> what are we going to get? One mole squadron. Don't think I end up using that. <laughs> we got double turn time or something like that, which I never ended up using. Or maybe I did. No, I didn't. Because that was my second shot. Whoops. Right, is this the one where it's... What does he do here then? <laughs> wow. All that for that. And as you can see, he blew through the end. And I'm very frustrated, as you can see, by shaking my camera. But we won in the end. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.